Hey, my name's Larry. I'm with Under the Bridge Flies, and we're going to tie a Juju Betis here. I've had two people holler at me today and ask me if I'd tie some of these up for them. And to be honest with you, I've never tied the fly before until today, so um, it's a new experience for me too. But anyway, it's not really a too bad of too bad you know of a fly to tie, but. The original pattern calls for uh, super hair and um, angel hair floss and stuff, and I don't have that kind of stuff with me. So, but I wanted to tie the flies for the people. So I, all right, let's see what we got. And I've come up with a way to tie this where you don't really need all that stuff. Um, it's fairly simple. You should have everything, pretty much you need to tie it. Hopefully. But what we're using is two kinds of thread, a tan and a black 8-0 unit thread. So you want to have two bobbins ready, one with black and one with tan in it. Um, these can be tied in, you know, a bunch of different colors, um, black and tan, black and purple, uh, probably olive and black. I mean, but we're going to do the black and tan. And we're going to start out with a Daiichi 1130. This is a size 18. Um, one person wanted them on 18s, the other one wanted it on 20s, so we can see it better on the 18 though, so that's what we're going to do here. So anyway, we got our, we're going to just go ahead and start our thread, our tan. We're going to use the tan first, and I'm just starting it in the middle of the hook and just working it down a little ways, just enough to grab a hold and be able to snip that off, tail off. And we're going to use a mallard flank or a partridge feather whichever you have and I'm using a tannish brownish tannish color um, because you know that's the color we're dying right <laughs> makes sense anyway so we're just going to grab some of these maybe you know eight ten of these here these are pretty long for what we're doing but it's what I have and that's what we're using so Anyway, and we want those about half the shank of the hook, so you want to just kind of even those up a little bit and get them started on top of your hook and go ahead and wind it down just around the bend and then go ahead and wind it back up too. And when you wind it back up, make sure you go about three quarters of the way at least. Um, you want to keep this body, you know, kind of nice and flat there to helps out this fly a little bit. Anyway, once you get that in, just uh, go ahead and run your thread down and build you a nice flat body like you would on a zebra midge or something. And we're just going to get that up there. Now, the next thing I'm putting in is I'm using an ultra wire in black and I'm using extra small. So I hardly ever use these extra smalls, but this time it's actually come in handy. So. We're going to go ahead and tie our ultra wire in right on the side and just like a zebra midge you know we're going to get that thing tied in you know and try to keep your thread you know nice and flat work it out and just go on down the hook there about three quarters and then go ahead and wrap your ultra wire keep your wraps i mean real uniform because um, like I said, normally they're using super hair on this. They'll use two brown or tan and one black. So, you know, try to make it double space of a double, you know, pretend like there's two pieces of wire in between. And just go ahead and bring that on up. Keep it nice and uniform. And we're just going to get that up to where we got our thread and just go ahead and capture that and just a couple wraps of stuff is you know get that off of there and then just go ahead and double whip finish and snip that tan off now this is an optional thing uh, using a flex or a hardener on the top of this fly I have uh, solar X is what I got I got three tubes of it with my light and I've been using this stuff for a long time, about six, seven months I've had this, and 
I mean, this is this lasts forever, but I just use a needle and I got a big old sewing needle here. Um, stole it out of my wife's sewing kit, so yeah, ain't like she ever uses it, so nobody sews anymore, right? <laughs> my wife sees this video I'm probably gonna get killed for that but at least you learn how to tie the fly first <laughs> anyway just build that up a little bit you know and kind of keep it on top don't worry about the bottom the bottom actually the original recipe on this the bottom it's just a top coat on this a lot of guys don't even put it on because you know they say it falls off but no so hit that with our UV light, let that harden up for a minute. And once you get that solar on there, I mean, once you get that coated, you cannot really tell the difference, you know, between one and the other, whether you're using a couple pieces of thread or the wire. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put my hook almost straight up and down there so I can work with the head of this thing because you really don't want to get all this stuff up in that eye and we're just going to start our black thread now and we just bring our black thread back and we're going to make a nice little head on this so we're just going to get it back there and snip that little tag off um, then we're going to put in a piece of flash I'm using pearl tinsel um, this is just a flat medium is what I got here and I got a piece cut off there so we're going to go ahead and keep it on top make sure you stay on top of your hook now you know keep that thing centered and just go ahead and tie that in and I'm just going to work that head a little bit now the next thing it calls for uh, an angel hair floss I believe is the original pattern I don't got none so what I'm using is my hairline parapost wing in white now you ain't gonna need the whole thing you know try to divide it in half you know because this is a rather small fly but get you a nice little section there and get down there grab a hold of the tips and just snip that off so you got a nice straight edge there to work with set that on there and just get you a wrap or two around that just to hold it in place and we're gonna start that over because wet it helps a little bit not much but now we're just gonna pull that back to where it's away from that eye and then we can go ahead and tie that in and go ahead and work that it, those are all get captured you know when you start doing this so once you get that tied in now get your thread down here and keep it back away from the hook I mean or the eye see how far I got that from the eye there and we're just going to go ahead and bend that right back on over and keep a hold of it and make sure you got all your strands nice and tight and just capture that thing keep your thread good and tight while you're doing this and just run two quick wraps around it you know give it a little tug make sure it's good and tight and like I said keep a hold of your thread if you can then bring your flash over and capture it real simple there throw a couple wraps two or three is plenty you don't want to overdo this so you know at that point you can let go of that thread a little bit and just snip that end off of there it's not going nowhere so now you want to split your parapost wing here your fibers split them in half and these things get knotted up pretty easy so you know just uh if you can't get the knot out of it just rip the doggone thing out i suppose but once you get it grab a hold of them pull it back and I like these things kept long that way I can work with this fairly easy because I'm going to just grab a hold of these make sure I'm on both sides and now that I got them pulled back real hard here we're just going to go ahead and capture that and we don't want to use a lot of wraps up here by this eye 
you know so just try to keep them uniform there and once you get her captured keep a hold of your thread and we're just going to go ahead and throw a couple whip finishes two or three zip that up and give it a nice little tug don't break your string there we go now grab a hold of those suckers again and pull back and you know personal preference right um, a lot of guys like them just to the back of the casing or whatever I just go just a hair past zip that off right there and voila there it is that is the Juju Betis and it looks just like the one they show on the video pretty much you know there's not a lot of difference in them you can't really tell that I used the wire instead of the super hair if you have the super hair it's two pieces of tan one piece of black and you just wrap them just like it shows you know just like that looks if you don't use some tan thread throw your piece of black wire around it voila you got you one anyway that's all there is to it um, I'm gonna put this on my new Facebook page um, under the bridge flies video and we'll have all the materials posted on there um, when's a good time to fish this fly how to fish this fly and all that information that you need to know about these flies and we're going to post you know more videos on there as time goes by i got a bunch of them to put on there i just ain't got around to it yet i got a couple hundred flies to tie first but check out my facebook page under the bridge flies um, if you need anything give me a holler i'll be more than happy to help you i got materials i got flies you name it we can probably get it for you so anyway i appreciate y'all watching my videos i hope you continue watching follow me on youtube under the bridge flies under the bridge is one word anyway <laughs> i will uh, see y'all on the next video thank you have a great day